Hi everyone, welcome again to a new topic of the Python. In this session, I will explain you about class and instance variable used in Python. So first of all, what is class and instance variable? We'll discuss here. Then, by using one example, I will show you how we can create it. And I will at the end of the example, I will explain each and every terms in detail why it is used and what is required for actual real life scenario after that i will give you some idea about the garbage collection in python so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates let's start with class instance variable instance variables are for data unique to each instance and class variables are for attributes and methods shared by all instances of the class. Instance variables are variables whose values assign inside a constructor or method with self, whereas class variables are variables whose values assign in the class. So in further session, I will definitely create a constructor uh, topic. Uh, one video on constructor topic but i have already created one session on classes and objects in python you can refer it for more detail i will also mention video link in my description tab from there you can refer it so let's create one example here and then i will explain you about this so for creating any program or classes instances we need to have one class name so for creating any class we just need to create student and then colon after that let's create one attribute that is subject the subject name i am going to provide here as a maths okay then next we will need one init method for our constructor so creating a constructor inside the python we just need to define def that underscore i n i t init then underscore then the parameters so i am going to provide here as a parameter self then standard then marks colon then we will need one variable or instance variable here so i am giving here as a self dot standard equal to Next, we will need again self dot marks equal to marks. 
now next we we'll need one object of the class for creating object of the class just have to go to instance or i am going to provide as the object name equal to prince and the class name i am going to declare it here and again the subject to student so in between the brackets i am going to provide here as the standard that is eight standard and the marks in double quote next we will again need one more student name as a object name so i am going to provide here as the second student name as a dan and standard 9 and the marks is definitely going to be the higher side so i have incremented so that it will dis differentiate next we we'll need to print these values so let me print here print in double quote prints details so first i am going to print here prints detail that is for student detail then print prints selected subject here then outside this code again prints the name of the student then subject okay next line i will need the standard in which standard he is studying so in between the code standard comma prints standard okay next line i will need the marks so let me copy and paste from here to here and in mark section i will make the changes and next i will need here as a marks so let me copy and paste it same thing for dan as well so that i will get the name so i want the next line should be printed uh, or next detail should be printed in next line so because of that i used here as a slash n so dan detail is required okay next i will make a changes from everywhere like dan then the object name so once it is done we are almost done in our program but i need to show at the end one more thing so now you can see here all the data is updated for both the students let me give you some class variable can be assessed using classes so i want to show that as well in this so for this we have to print or we have to print one more value here so print i am going to provide you here as a slash n that is for printing next line so accessing
class variable using class name because we are going to print same thing here class variable using class name now you can see here I want to print same thing by using their class name so I want to just print the variable because we have declared here the variable value same thing will be printed at the end of program so because of that it's mentioned here so it's student dot subject subject which is I have declared let me run this then I will explain you about this program as you can see here we got the result as a prince detail and dance detail you can see here pin selected subject is maths standard eight and mark at the finally when we are calling subject or uh, the class name uh, by using class by sorry class variable by using class name so you can see here we got as a variable name as well so we have used here student as a class name and subject is the variable name and we got the value here so let me explain you about this is a class variable it's a class name where we have executed the variable name or inserted the variable name then we have created one function or you can see that it's constructor inside the constructor we have used self variable and declared two attributes inside the attributes we have provided the student marks and the standard and we have printed here so by this way we can see that we have executed class instances and the variable detail or we can see that class and instance variable we have completed let me give you some idea about the garbage collection how we can use it and how our python programming works with garbage collection so python deletes unneeded objects that is built-in types or class instances automatically to free up the memory space from our system the process by which python periodically reclaims blocks of memory that no longer are in use in terms of garbage collections python garbage collection runs during program addition and is triggered when an object reference count reaches zero an object reference count rate changes as the number of aliases that point to it changes and object reference count increases when it is assigned a new name or placed in a container list tuple or dictionary so this is all about the class instance and the variable in python so let's recap this we have started with the basic concept of class instance and their variable then we have created one example in that example i explain each and every terms in detail then finally we had a look on destroying objects or you can say that garbage collection in python so hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching